Well, good morning. It is Friday, March 5th, and some of you have said you'd like to see Adventures in Moving, or as Tracy called it, We're on the Move. So here's a little video for you. In the past couple of days, Dale has taken everything off the walls and patched them so that you never even know anything was here. Somebody long ago uh, spotted our home interiors that was up here. So um, we have movers coming to pack all the big stuff, but we wanted to take everything off the walls. So there's the living room. And uh, this little room you'll remember was where Dale's stuffed animal collection was all gone. <laughs> and we're just stashing everything on the floor for the movers. And then anybody that watched Scotchmas, of course, you know the teacup collection was right there, all gone. <laughs> um, stepping into Studio K, uh, all of my lovely Scottish and English doodads that were up on the soffit, they're all gone as well. And uh, everything's in a neat pile here, down on the floor, ready to be moved. Step into the family room and our, our Western stuff is off the walls. Um, I just have to show you, this is the first time all of Dale's horses were all in one place. Check out the horses. They're all ready to be moved to their new barn and corral. Kind of cool. Anyway, there you go. The Mackenzie Homestead in partial disassembly. All this was hanging on this hallway. I made this hallway as a replica that Doc Holliday stayed at. And I made sure that I got it as good as I could. I did all the uh, crown molding and the signs and everything. I tried to make it as authentic as I could. But, and over here you'll see, we got room two. This here is the office. And this is where I do all my editing. And it's empty, except for the computer and stuff. Everything's off the walls, ready to be shipped to the new house. And I'll show you where it's all at. <laughs> it's all down here. On this side. And over here on this side. I didn't realize, just look at this pile of photographs. The frames and everything. These are all people that we've met over the years. And we have more that we never framed. But <laughs> there's got to be 30 of them there. Here's a fellow here that we met. Anyway, I don't know if I'll ever hang these again. I may take all the pictures out of the frames and uh, put them in a an album. Because now that we're renting, I don't know if I want to put holes in the wall. It's bittersweet, my friends. Very bitter, bittersweet.
All right, so we walked in the front and the carpet's in excellent condition. This I think would be a living room. Look at the, these are called plantation shutters according to Bill and you're basically looking out on that brick wall. You don't really have much of a view. And then here's the pass through into what I presume is a family room. So here's where the fireplace is. Um, nice fireplace. And then we've got the shutters again, and they look out on the backyard. We'll look at that view in a sec. So that door comes from the kitchen, and it brings you right out onto the patio. It's got a nice curve to it and some pink stone. Um, quite private, actually, with all the vegetation. You've got a deciduous tree there. All right, so here we are in the kitchen. I just turned around from the family room. Nice stainless steel appliances, really nice granite countertops. Look at that walk-in pantry. The oven is a built-in over there. And then there's your stove top. There is no microwave. Just a note that we'd have to buy one. The McKee Ranch here on Dean Martin Drive on the south end of Las Vegas is about as alluring as they come. This two-acre property is privately owned but open to the public and is in fact a 501c3 charity. Its mission is to educate the public about rural life in the Las Vegas Valley and preserve the legacy of rural ranches. Owners Max and Christy McKee live on site and are really happy to share ranch culture with the children of the 21st century. And there were lots of them here on this beautiful spring Saturday. Admission is free and visitors are encouraged to bring carrots and crackers to feed the animals. Hello, here we are at McKee Ranch having a wonderful time. The roosters and the horses are making a huge racket. The place is full of families on a Saturday morning. I can't think of a place I would rather be. Loving this. These beauties are rescue horses from northern Nevada and they became the start of this sanctuary. You're beautiful. Before you knew it, there were goats and ponies, miniature horses, bunny rabbits, chickens and roosters. The ranch is part of an ongoing 4-H club child development program providing kids with hands-on agricultural experience.
The decor of this place has to be seen to be believed. We loved every square inch of it. You can buy fresh eggs and snacks while you're here, and in the autumn, they have an old-fashioned Midwestern-style pumpkin patch. <laughs> we cannot wait for that. Mm -hmm.